Hi everyone at the engineering event. My name's Jai and I'm a member of the British Alpine Ski Team. But I also have a passion for engineering. I stayed on at school uh, to be able to gain a place at university to study it. We use engineering a lot in ski racing like this suit I'm wearing which is really aerodynamic and helps us go down the mountain as fast as we can. And also the equipment we use like our skis, our bindings for example are made to make sure that they release when we want our skis to come off but also to keep us clamped in and get us going down the mountain as fast as we can. Okay, so we use different length skis for different disciplines. This is a slalom ski and it's the shortest ski we use and you can tell by the shape of the ski that it's wide at the top, thin in the middle and wide again in the tail and that basically means that when you put the ski on edge it will turn in the snow in the shape of a circle. So each ski has a radius. This one is a tight radius, around about 12 metres. And these GS skis, for example, much longer and have a radius of about 30 metres. Okay, so the materials of the skis make a big difference to how they perform on the snow. Uh, believe it or not, these skis are made out of wood. They have a wood core, metal edges and a plastic and graphite base which helps absorb the wax we put into the ski. The skis need to be really stiff to make sure that they don't collapse on the snow when we go to make the turn. Um, the stiffer the ski, generally the more response you get um, through the snow and they perform better. If we look more closely at how the bindings work, when we stand into the ski, they clip tight and the spring is under a lot of tension which keeps us stable in, in the binding. And to release it, we just stamp out. There's also a spring in the front of the ski which releases if we're about to have a crash. But we don't want the skis to be too loose, otherwise they could come off when we're not gonna have a crash. And so uh, there's a fine balance between having them too tight and too loose and mechanical engineering allows us to be really accurate and find that balance. We turn the ski is by leaning right over, but at the same time we don't want to fall inside and slide down on the snow, which can sometimes happen. So as we change our body position and make a big angle, the ski bites into the snow, the edges grip into the hill and they start to bend because we put a lot of force through the ski. And as the ski bends, it changes shape into a shape that is quite similar to the shape of a turn, like a circle. And that's how we're able to carve down the mountain and make cool turns. The boots are made from really hard plastic and this allows us to put a lot of force through the ski. They're not very comfortable, um, in fact sometimes they're so close to our feet that our bones can start pushing back out uh, and we can get nasty bone spurs. So they're a really tight fit so we can get as much information through our feet as possible um, and they're nothing like slippers. The plastic is moulded in, uh, in the factory it was made from a very hard material to stop them from bending or heating up or keep them nice and firm when we're in the skis. Yeah, when we're going down the mountain, we wear these gloves with protection on the back of our hands, which absorbs the impact if we brush past the gate, because sometimes it can really help. Or if we have a crash, of course. And these shin guards we use in slalom uh, to get as close to the gates as possible it means that we take the shortest line and travel the least distance and that's the fastest way of getting down the hill. So these are moulded in a shape that fits around our leg and it's really hard and that uh, allows us to whack into the gate. Okay, this is Joe, our team technician. He's from Austria and it's his job to prepare all the skis for the British ski team. He sharpens the edges and he finishes them with a diamond stone to make them really smooth to exactly 87 degrees don't you Joe? <laughs> right. and he also waxes the skis using an iron to reduce the friction between the skis and the snow 
and uh, make the skis really fast and he does a great job and if we all have eight pairs of skis each and there's ten people on the team it's a lot of skis to do that's all from me have fun and work hard <laughs>